welcome to another episode of Zenochat, uh, a podcast that focuses on uh, the Zeno series from Zeno Gear, Zeno Saga, all the way to Zeno Blade. Uh, my name is Tyler, and with me is my co-host Justin. How's it going, everyone? Okay, and today's not a, a normal episode uh, because <laughs> what we're here today to discuss is the one-year anniversary of our podcast, Zeno Chat. So yeah, it's been uh, it originally released on August 29th of 2018, which coincides with the uh, anniversary of the North American release of Zeno Slug Episode 3 uh, when it originally came out. So yeah, uh, just um, today's episode is going to be a little smaller than usual, but we're just mostly going to talk about our experience and kind of say thanks to everyone that's been uh, listening to us along the way. So thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thank you all for all your support. Thank you for contributing ideas to us or even participating in the podcast. Like seriously, this wouldn't have really been a thing if it weren't for all of you listening and helping us out here. It's crazy because this podcast kind of just started as just this fun little thing. I mean, I, I think I've mentioned before that this started just because one day Tyler messaged me. <laughs> he was just, you, you had just left Operation Rainfall and, um, you said you wanted to start a new podcast. And, uh, and I think I said like, Oh, yeah, that sounds kind of fun. You know, maybe we'll do something. And then we started messing each other some more. And then, yeah, we just ha- found a night kind of like tonight where we just kind of sat down and recorded. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy how, you know, like, I, honestly, I, well, I had no idea how long this would last, but. It, Neither did I. Yeah. <laughs> it just stemmed from me wanting to listen to Zeno podcasts and there just weren't any. So it's like, well, might as well create it if it doesn't exist. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, you showed great initiative. You took, like, you took the initiative, you messaged me, you messaged a few other people. And you made it happen, and that's great. Like, I think we have a solid community so far. We've got 13 episodes, which I guess that averages out to about an episode a month, Mm -hmm. which is pretty good, I think. And they're pretty big episodes, too. I think we cover a lot of content. We've had a lot of people, a lot of different people on our podcast. Yeah, some of them are repeats, but, like, still, um, I think it's great that we've had a lot of different guests of varying backgrounds and also uh, they're they all have different knowledge of the Zeno games and it all just kind of contributed to a much bigger picture which I just want to emphasize like this podcast would not have lasted as long as it has mm-hmm. if it weren't for everybody participating on this exactly yeah it's kind of crazy how like just like there hasn't been like a well a lot of people have like had their expertise. Like yours is more in the Xenoblade area, mine's more in the Zeno mm-hmm. Saga area. And then we have other people that are like more into Zeno gears and then we just kind of come together and kind of educate ourselves on the different uh, aspects of uh, Zeno that we might not as be familiar with. So I I thought that was really awesome that we've been able to get people that are spread over the whole Zeno fandom. Yeah, and um, I guess like one of the biggest things that um, this podcast has really opened my eyes to is just how expansive the Zeno fandom really is. Because I I know I've said that like I've played these games. Um, I I started with Gears years ago when I was really young, or I mean I wasn't that young, but I was much younger when I first played Gears. I think I was I think I was in like eighth grade or something when I first played Gears, mm-hmm. and. Then eventually I got Saga and I played through all that and then I ended up getting Blade and I really enjoyed those games. And it's kind of interesting because I played those games and I didn't really talk to anybody about them. I loved them. Like I had a lot of fun, but I was never really part of a community up until this podcast. Like I know I spoke to a couple of people online who said, yeah, I like Zeno too, but I was never really part of anything involving it i was kind of just like oh yeah i like this game but i kind of kept it to myself so this mm-hmm. is probably the first time that i've really been um actively a part of a zeno community yeah and um well uh well in high school i was more into like uh like 
forums and stuff when it came to like the Zeno community, but I was mostly into the, like the Zeno saga side of it. But I never like had like conversations like this, where I was actually talking to people about it. So this has been a very interesting and awesome experience because I went years wanting something like this, but always had to just be relegated to like forum uh, threads and whatnot. Yeah, and um, I don't know about you, but I feel like uh, what we have here is a little bit more more intimate, I guess. Like, mm-hmm. we're all kind of getting to know each other a little bit more. Like, I consider most of the guests that we have, I consider most of them to be my friends. Uh, and I guess that's probably one of the biggest things I've gained from doing this is I feel like I've gained a lot of new friends. And that's awesome. So, and I like that we're reaching people like I think you said we've had like over a thousand plays so far which is pretty crazy I know that sounds like a humble brag but just bear <laughs> yeah. with me Zeno chats get over a thousand plays we have 13 episodes we're better than you <laughs> no I mean like it's just cool that people are actually listening to this for lack yes. of a better term right um right <laughs> I know, I, I think I mentioned, I don't know what the episode's at, but I remember mentioning that uh, just even, whatever, we were in August, so in June I was at uh, Too Many Games, and there was someone who came to a panel that I was hosting, and they recognized my voice, and they were saying, oh, you know, you're from Chat, and that was so awesome, and like, just the idea that someone actually recognized me, and was, you know, happy to hear about our content, that's so cool, and I hope that that isn't the only experience we have doing it. Let more people are listening to this. And I guess that kind of goes into like where we want to go with the podcast in the future. And, uh, I get, I know we have some big plans for, mm-hmm. um, I guess the next year of Zeno chat. Uh, let's see. I know we have a list of like stuff we want to talk about. I guess we could say the big plans for later. Okay. So let's see. Tyler, well, I'm going to put you on the yeah. spot here. Oh, okay. What is something that you learned while doing this? Well, I'll, I've well, I guess something I've learned I've learned a lot about editing audio a lot more because before that uh, I hadn't really done much with that. Um, I, I guess that's not the answer of the question exactly, but. Um, Besides that, I don't. I don't know. This has been a really interesting experience, and I let me think on that. What? What? How about you? How about you? What? Have you... Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't worry about it. Um, I think one of the things I learned from this is uh, how to look at characters in kind of a different way, hmm. and. I, and I guess, like, the episode I learned that from, and this is probably one of my favorite episodes on the mm. podcast, is the Xion episode. Mm. Because I actually really enjoy that episode. And also, some of the earlier episodes, because we spoke a lot about Zenosaka 2. And for years, that was a game that um I didn't really enjoy a whole lot. Mm. And even Xion, like, I know I've had my opinions about her over the years, and it wasn't until, like, those first few episodes where it really got me to think about, like, what is it about, the like, Xion and episode two that I really disliked? And I come to learn that there's not a whole lot that I truly actually dislike about them. And I was also thinking that, like, these characters are designed a certain way. Like, Xion's designed a certain way. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of brilliant that she's designed that way. And it, I don't know. Like, I think the discussion we've had with that has kind of... uh help me to look at characters that typically are seen as bad characters or hated characters and try to really see if they're really bad characters so much as are they just characters that um, really make you think about them. And I don't know. Mm-hmm. I I, th- I feel like the way we've had some of the conversations we've had on here have really changed the way I look at characters. Cause it, it started to make me think about that a little bit more, how I judge my media. I guess that's probably one of the biggest takeaways I've, I've gotten from our conversations on um, Zeno Chat. All right. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, well, that's pretty cool. I mean, thinking about that now, because um, I also want to, um, I just thought about how I kind of, like, after, like, the episodes with Pure, I kind of mm-hmm. want to be more critical about 
like rumors and like what's exactly true within the Zeno uh Yes. Uh, yeah. That is actually one thing that Pure really does contribute to us is that he is really good at giving an objective opinion on something. Mm-hmm. I've noticed. Um exactly. he's very factual. Um he does his research. Yeah. <laughs> like and, and I and I, I actually really like that ab- about him. Uh, he always has something really cool to contribute to the conversation, whether he wants to or not. He he's he does a really good job, and yeah. uh, and I, yeah, and I really enjoyed the episodes with him a lot. Like I remember that first episode we had with him. Like I think I'd even speak a whole lot, and it wasn't because that I didn't have much to say. It was because I was so interested in what yeah. Pure had to say. <laughs> It's like keep talking pure, even though it's like yeah, or just low. Yeah, but uh, yeah, like the reason I'm I'm asking this is because um, I want to emphasize that this podcast it's nothing professional. Like Tyler and I, we're not we're not like pros at doing podcasts. Yeah, I've done a couple in the past, Mm -hmm. but this is still a new experience for us. Right. So I think that. Uh, I, I want I want us to like talk about like what we learn and some of the things that we experience because I think that can maybe help other people who are considering doing their own podcast down the line. Right. Yeah. Because yeah, we're pretty much noobs uh, as well. So it's yeah. Even now, I I still don't know if I know everything that is about podcasting, but it's still been a really mm-hmm. fun experience, and I think we'll. Hopefully when we go into the second year that we'll still be learning a lot of new stuff. Absolutely. And I mean, you've been, you've been working on video, I mean, not video editing, you've been working on the audio editing and you've never done this before. Right. Right. And I know that's, Mm -hmm. that's a hurdle for a lot of people. A lot of people, they look at these projects, they say, Oh, I got to learn how to use audacity or use whatever program I'm using. And then I got to figure out how to spice the audio, right? I get the sound levels correct. And ugh, that sounds, that sounds terrible, but no, like you put in the time and effort and trust me, <laughs> Tyler has put in a lot of time and effort into these episodes, yes. but you did a great job. And we've got 13 episodes that I think sound pretty good. At least so far. <laughs> yes. Thank you. And I, <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, like, one of the things that uh, I had tr- we had trouble with was like it goes back to like episode one when uh, I, re- I remember I recorded our audio, but like all of mine, I forgot to. I think I forgot to wear headphones or something, so my audio was mixed with your audio, and it was just a huge yeah. mess. So it took me like a month to clean that all up and get and get it just <laughs> right. So that was that was uh, a very f- first exciting experience (laughs) yeah and uh i know i've had some issues like that too i think there was an episode where i think i just couldn't find my headphones or something like that so i just straight up didn't have any headphones and i was capturing all sorts of sound and audio and then even more recently during the love episode um there was a really bad storm going on around the house like right outside and like the lights were starting to flicker in my room and I got, and I got scared. I was like, uh Oh, am I about to like lose power and then lose all this audio that we have recorded? Mm-hmm. So I actually, uh, I saved my audio midway through the podcast and had to like break it up into separate segments. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, like things like that will happen. And we have little audio mishaps. Like I know some of our guests have had some issues as well yeah there was a little bit of uh, an audio issue in the melia episode mm-hmm. but thankfully yeah it, I, like didn't cause a huge issue with the episode itself thankfully mm-hmm. and then there's even i remember uh, i think it was also the love episode where what was it i think like i uh, i was using a different computer to record mm-hmm. and i i think like I use a really weird setup to record it. I think I did something like I had Discord running. Oh yeah, full disclosure, we're using Discord. <laughs> I, had, I was uh, the audio call was on my phone, but then I had the recording on my computer, and so I was basically like talking to 
everybody in the podcast on my phone and then actually recording on my computer. I, I don't know. I, I did weird things. <laughs> it worked, though. It worked. <laughs> it did work, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, audio things, that things happen when it comes yeah. to recording audio. I've had plenty of mishaps. Like, I remember um, I started streaming recently, shameless plug, <laughs> and I know the very first night I started streaming, I I accidentally had a window open with my stream and my um my capture was capturing the audio from the stream. Mm-hmm. So like I was talking and it kept repeating itself. And it got to a point where it sounded like there's ten of me talking over myself. It was, oh. it was bad. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I've since learned from that, and that's not happening again. <laughs> oh, good, yeah. Lots of learning experiences. Yeah. So yeah, that's. I guess that's kind of like things we've learned, uh, new experiences. We kind of covered that as well. Favorite episode to record? Which one was that for you? I'm sorry, you cut out. What was that? Oh, I was asking, uh, what was your favorite episode to record? <gasps> Oh, okay. Um, well, I kind of want to say the the myths episode was super super fun to record. That was actually probably my one of my favorite episodes. It was just that like, was really neat because it was different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because at like, first, I'm... oh, sorry, go on. No, he can you can talk. That's fine. Well, I was just remembering because I like, I remember how I was thinking of a way to structure it, but then Pierre was like, "Let's do it this way," and it was like it turned out a whole lot better than how I was going to structure it. So it was like this was actually kind of fun. Yeah, and it turned yeah, it more into really like cool. a game, and that was that was cool. That was a lot of fun. Um, I, I really enjoyed that episode too. That was a good one. I mentioned the Shion episode. That was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I also really liked the Melia episode. The, yeah. the upcoming love episodes, those are a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully part two will be up by the time of, of this recording, but we'll, we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good one. Mm-hmm. Um, and we also recorded a Shulk episode, and that was actually a really good one, too. We have a new guest on that episode, by the way. A little mm-hmm. bit of a spoiler. Yeah. But, ooh, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So let's see, um, episodes that we got on the horizon. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, as we said, we got uh, Shulk, Love Part 2, um, and then Love Part 3 is going to be recording on the 25th? Or wait, yeah, the 25th, right? I think so. That sounds about right. Okay, and that should should be the last part. Otherwise, I don't know what other love we'd talk about, but... Um, yeah, yeah, because that episode is going to be mostly Xenoblade 2, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Xenoblade 2 and Torna. Yeah. Uh, Which is okay. nice, because we actually haven't spoken about Torna yet. No, we really haven't. Um, which, let's see. And then besides that, we did run a poll not too long ago, and Elma was the winner, so... Yay, Elma. We'll be uh, recording... Uh, oh, that's... I'm guessing sometime in September, but I don't think we've decided on a date yet, or... Yeah, we haven't decided on a date, and we, we just gotta see, um... Like, whose schedule lines up with who, and all that good stuff. Right, <laughs> yeah, because right now it's, like, so many people are going to, like, cons and stuff, but it's, like, we yeah. gotta figure out when would be the best time to have everybody... Yeah, the, we're at the uh, kind of the tail end of con season, mm-hmm. so uh, we still got some coming up. I know I have a con in September, and then I should be free until about November. Okay, uh, which con is that? So in September, we've got a video game con that's up in Parsippany, New Jersey. That's a really good con. Uh, nice. It's uh, not a huge con, but it's... A nice gaming convention. A lot of vendors are there, so if you're looking for for video games or retro games, mm-hmm. it's a really good venue for that. They also got some really good arcade games there. 
Some nice events are going to be there as well. My friend's going to be running um, Tournament of Voices there, and that's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait for that. Nice. I, uh, yeah, yeah. A lot of my friends actually run that con. So, um, it's just a nice hangout for me. And I know the people who go there, they generally really enjoy it. It's a very, it's not a huge con. It's very intimate. All, all the people there are really, really, really nice. Uh, and generally it's just a good time. Uh, they're trying to get more cosplayers there. Mm-hmm. I remember for a while they were looking for some, but yeah, that's a, that's a really, really, really good one. And then after that, we got Anime NYC. I believe that's in November. And that's a really good one. Um, I really enjoy Anime NYC. That's in New York City at the Javits Center. So it's like, it's the same venue as Comic Con, mm. but they're not using the entire place. It's only like one section. And I think it's for the better. Cause I'll be honest, I'm not a huge, huge fan of Comic Con at times. It can get really crowded and, and cramped. There's good stuff there. It's just that, when you're actually at Comic Con, it can be kind of a pain to get anywhere <laughs> because there's uh, just so many people and there's uh, so much going on. You got like it's just sensory overload. Like you go there, there's cosplayers on the left, <laughs> vendors on the right, giant like companies promoting their new comics and games, and it's just s- too much. Oh. There's so much chaos in Comic Con. Yeah, that gives me anxiety just thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. If you actually went there, you'd probably just want to turn around. It's <laughs> it's the kind of place where, like, if you're not ready for a big crowd, don't go. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, otherwise, it's it's not it's not the worst event. There are, there is some good stuff there because there are a lot of really good guests that go to Comic Con, mm-hmm. and you do get some exclusive stuff there too. So if you have to go to Comic Con, you'll probably have a good time. But it, it, for me personally, um, I think I prefer smaller conventions than that. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, um, let's see. Besides, uh, let's see. Besides the Alma episode, I do know that we're trying to do. Uh, the only other ones that I think we have confirmed are we're going to work on the, the queer theory episode because mm. we've been wanting to do that for a long time now and we just haven't gotten around to it. But um, I think we're still a little iffy on when that's happening. But um, Yeah. Yeah, we're still um, ironing out the the details with that one. Let's, specifically, who's going to be on it and when? Because we're actually going to make that a uh, multi-part episode yeah and we're gonna try to get different people mm-hmm. hopefully for for each part so yeah. um we're still trying to look into doing that and uh, once that's done i think that'll be a really really cool episode to get out there exactly i yeah i'm very much looking forward to recording that yeah, there's that. Uh, what else is on the horizon? I've uh, thought about doing a Xenoblade cross stream. Oh, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about doing that. And I know Radio and Murray are both really interested in joining in for that. So I think, like, if the online is still working on that, maybe I'll get a game going and then have them come with me and then we'll go fight some monsters and like try to record our audio if possible. That'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, because I, I have no idea of the online component still working on that because I cause it's been a few years since I've tried the online um, I played it on like one of the anniversaries but yeah, I, that would be really cool to watch. Mm-hmm. So, so Tyler, uh, what are your goals for the next year, or what are some things that you hopefully want to accomplish? Well, hmm, that's a very lofty question. Uh, yeah, it's a loaded question. <laughs> uh, because really, I didn't have much of a goal in mind when we started, besides talking about Zeno. So, I guess 
hopefully talking more about Sinnoh. <laughs> That's um, a valid answer. <laughs> <laughs> and then hopefully we'll uh, see some more. I mean, hope, I, mean I, I guess I shouldn't rush the people at Marvel off. It'd be awesome if they announced a new Zeno game, but I'll, 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 I won't pressure them. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if, like, oh. we found out that they were listening to us? Oh God, uh, that would be cool. <laughs> uh, I'd also be maybe a little embarrassed, but it'd be, it'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, I want to hopefully get us um at conventions, if mm. possible, and try to just spread the word of Zeno Chat a little bit more. Uh, get some more people listening in. Uh, I know we have a meetup planned at Katsukon next year, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. We can definitely put a uh, link to the group, because there's a Facebook group for it. <laughs> yeah. And we can definitely put a link to that in the description for this episode. So if any of you are interested, uh, definitely just join that. The page is going to get updated, you know, as we learn more details on um what to do for the meetup. Because we're going to do it like photo shoot style. So mm. we definitely do want some photographers there and cosplayers for Zeno. Because I think that'll be really cool. It'll just be a bunch of us just hanging out, dressed up as other Zeno characters. And just having a good time. And uh, I know we really want to do that. We really want to do some other events at Katsukon. We're still trying to iron those out. But, like, you know, stay tuned. I, w- I hopefully want to get at least one convention event going. Because I know it's hard to get us all in one place. Mm, Katsukon's going to be the first time where that actually happens. Yes. Because we're very spread out. Um, I know we don't talk about this often, but, like, yeah, like, some of us are on the East Coast, some of us are out are out in, like, the Midwest, and, Mm -hmm. yeah, it's... Some of us aren't even in this country. Exactly. (laughs) They're not even in the U.S., so it's like we're all over the place over at ZenoChat. Yeah, so this will be exciting to have us all in one place, and this will be the, like the first time I've like met. So Katsukon's gonna be the first time that happens. Yeah, and like met up with online friends. So that's that's really cool. Absolutely. So I guess that's kind of what I want to see uh, for year two of Zeno Chat. I just want to see us be um, have more of a presence at conventions. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, oh, also, I, I do want to try to get a new, design a new logo for us, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been thinking, yeah, thinking about, uh, yeah, a new logo, and then I don't know if we ever want to try to get a new opening song, or if, if Emotions is just perfect. Yeah, that'd be, um, that'd be really cool if we get a new original song. Mm -hmm. It's just that I don't think any of us our composers are know how to make, make music for lack of a better term. <laughs> oh, well, I think Aaron's done something with music before, but yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, that might, that might be a long-term goal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's no rush. Like I am perfectly fine with what we have so far, at least for now. Mm. Oh yeah. I'm fine with it too. Yeah, so I guess that's um, kind of what I want to see for the next year. <sighs> Man, it still blows my mind that we're even at this point. <laughs> right. Just the fact that we're having this conversation is just mind blowing to me. Like, how the hell did we survive this long? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And people surprisingly listen to it, so it's <laughs> and they like it. It's. Yeah. And apparently we're putting out decent content. Go figure. Yeah. So yeah, thank you everybody for listening. <laughs> yeah, seriously, like it means the world to us that um we're getting all the support that we're getting. I know we've we've had a thousand likes. We got a decent amount of followers on Twitter. Yeah, like it's our, too bad so far, yeah. Yeah, it's it's slowly growing. So that's that's really awesome too. Absolutely. Um, and yeah, I know we, uh, I, like I said, I just want to see us expand more. Right. And yeah, and, and, and another thing, we, I mean, it's not like we'll ever run out of episode ideas. Um, because yeah, I, 
I don't know if I've shared this in the past, but we have like a document that has like all of our ideas for mm-hmm. episodes, and I had to organize it recently because there was just so many <laughs> ideas. Yeah, and we're and we are always open to suggestions because, like, more than oh, anything yeah. else, this is very much a community effort. So, if you have an idea for an episode, honestly, feel free to message us on Twitter. We won't hear you out. Like, if it sounds cool to us, we'll put it on our list. Yeah, we are very open to suggestions uh, on episodes. So definitely don't hesitate to do that. Because, again, like, I I feel like the part of the reason we're doing this is because I know, at least I've heard from Tyler and some of the other people we've had on here that, like, previous Zeno communities there was some sort of toxicity going on and Mm -hmm. there were, there was a little bit of elitism. So we're trying to get none of that here. We're trying to be as positive of a community as we can be. Exactly. Zeno gears, Zeno saga, Zeno blade. It's all good. Yeah. They they all good games and we all like them. I like to think most of you like them as well. So let's all help each other out. Let's make this really cool. Exactly. Couldn't say it better. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Justin, uh, especially for like uh, joining me on this endeavor because I I would not have been able to hold it up by myself. I <laughs> you 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 definitely bring the more charisma to this than I can barely <laughs> talk. <laughs> it's my pleasure, man. I'm just here to have fun. Make sarcastic remarks <laughs> and talk about some cool games. That, that's literally my goal here is just talk about some cool games on a microphone. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess, uh, is there any closing comments for the first anniversary of Zeno Chats? Oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, thanks everybody for listening. And um, yeah, as he as Justin said earlier, if you ever have any ideas about future episodes or anything else we can cover, let us know. And uh, thanks for listening. Yeah, seriously, thank you once again. It's been a hell of a year. Hopefully, our next year is going to be just as good, if not even better. Exactly. All right. Well, good night and take care, everyone. All right, everybody. Have a great night.